let's examine an interesting proof but we'll use vectors to do so what is this i have a circle here with a center and a diameter i find any point on this circle and i connect the endpoints to that point i've demonstrated an inscribed triangle but this is always an inscribed right triangle this point here this angle is always 90 degrees and why we'll use vectors center a vector in this direction i'm calling that a exact opposite vector will be minus a these vectors are going to be radii i'm demonstrating a third vector it's also another radii but radius but i'm calling this a b in all instances your these vectors are going to be positive in terms of dimensions but they'll be equivalent to each other because they're always radii we're just calling them differently a minus a and b i need to determine this resultant and this how can i do it look here at this representation i have a b and I have a minus a. Translate the minus a here and connect the start to that. I have a result and that is the sum of the two b plus minus a or just say b minus a. I've known, I now know this to be b minus a and this b minus a would be right here but you can translate it here and here it is b minus a. Now I need to determine that. How do I do it? You have your a vector, you have your b vector. Translate the a over here. It looks like that and then you connect the two you have a b plus a remember these are your diagrammatic approaches to vector addition your triangular and parallelogram approach i have a b plus a this b plus a translates itself right over pretty well and this is it b plus a now we have everything we need we will just redraw our representation here's our a here's our minus a here is b this here is b minus a and this here is b plus a and you know the representation of a circle is around it like this so you're seeing a diameter and an inscribed triangle this right here will always be 90 degrees and you can prove it by using your Pythagorean formula you have a hypotenuse which is made of the sum of these two everything is absolute value so the c square of my Pythagorean formula is made of a and an a will be an a square or you can say 2a square a plus a 2a square I have one leg which is a b minus a whole square that can be my a square c square is equal to a square plus b square that's your formula I have another leg which is a b plus a whole square you're seeing these vector additions b minus a is one leg b plus a is another leg I have these two that's your hypotenuse compute this I have a 4a square is equal to what b square plus a square minus 2ab and then b square plus a square plus 2ab these will cancel out in every instance a is equal to b or b is equal to a so i can substitute i have a, a square plus a square plus a square plus a square i have a 4a square is equal to 4a square and it checks out meaning this indeed is a inscribed right triangle that angle must be 90 degrees because the Pythagorean formula helped us prove it through using vectors